Hey, what's up, it's Aaron. What I'm gonna do is show you and walk through how to duplicate a webinar automation and set up uh, for the new webinar. So I've got a couple different ones in here. They're a little bit different, but I'm gonna take the last webinar that I've done, like live webinar, Income Impact Academy webinar welcome. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna go down here. And I'm just gonna duplicate it um, or copy and say, Yes, copy, and then it's all done, and we really should close it because it's gonna take a minute, because if we open it, I think right away, nothing's gonna happen. It's, we gotta give it a minute. To see, it's like you show up and there's nothing there, so what we have to do is we have to go back and just give it a minute. So sometimes all I'll do is I'll come in and just refresh. Then I can go and edit. There it is, okay. So this is for my webinar, running Facebook ads in-house for your physical therapy business. So I'm gonna put it a Facebook ads. I'm just gonna call it and get this out of the way. I'm just gonna call it, there it is. We're gonna take off the copy. We're gonna rename it, webinar welcome. So I'm gonna put Facebook ads, Facebook ads, uh, webinar welcome sequence save. And then I'm going to tag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create tags and how we do that is we open up contacts and then I need a few different tags. So let's go to manage tags. And we're gonna say Facebook ads webinar. And then you'll see in here, over in it, webinar jam, we're gonna edit. I'll show you some of the tags we're gonna need. Okay, go to integrations and active campaign. And we need, uh, face if they register, so um, this is the tag for if they register Facebook ads webinar. So that's what happens if they register. So I'm gonna copy that one. We also need one when they attend live, if they missed it for the replay. Um, so I'm gonna do um, Facebook ads webinar. I'm gonna say Facebook ad webinar live replay. Cause I'm also gonna send, wanna know Facebook ads webinar missed and Facebook ads webinar uh, early, left early. I may not do anything with that yet. Facebook ads webinar, and I'll say late because I can tag them if they joined after a certain time or if they stayed until at least. So if they stayed, uh, if they leave before, let's say they leave before the pitch or they leave in the first 30 minutes, we can send them a quick email that says, hey, sorry, you missed it. Here's the replay, um, different things like that. If they purchased the product, so we can do that. Sometimes that doesn't always happen because we would add that as Facebook ads purchased. All right, and now I can come over here. So now we've got the automation and it's a brand new one. So I'm gonna come back here. Let's go here and Facebook ads webinar. And this is going to trigger the webinar welcome. And I have it as multiple times because if we take it off and they join again, they'll come again. But if it never gets taken off, they won't join again. And then this one is just, uh, when I did this last webinar, I did it as a specific date. Um, so I'm just gonna take that off because we're not, we don't need that. There it is, okay. All right, subscribe to the list. So let's subscribe to my LeBauer Consulting blog. We'll add some engagement and I will come back in and update uh, this sequence, but that's how you duplicate the sequence. And so even like this is a nine word email and I know it's not gonna populate, but this needs to get updated uh, to be relevant to the webinar and the podcast. So if I was gonna look at that one, I'm probably going to update or maybe even take that out. Um, but you can see where this needs to now say, we'll update this guy. Thank you for registering for the webinar. And so I need to update this. So the webinar name is, okay, so we'll come back. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna come and update these emails either in another video. So we've duplicated, let's go back. So we've duplicated the automation and I've added the tags and we've got the automation. So let's go back in uh, and that's integrating webinar jam. So now I'm gonna integrate webinar jam. I'm gonna come in and edit. If they register, I'm going to add a tag. And then we just, there's no search, which is kind of a bummer. I just got to scroll down and Facebook ads, webinar, create an integration rule. And then 
if they attend live, only if they attend live do I want to send them to the uh, follow-up sequence. Or I could say only if they watch the very end do I want to send the follow-up sequence. So that's, um, we can do a lot of different things. Facebook ads, webinar, live. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all these tags and later on I'll decide if I want, how I want to use them, if I want to use them at all. But it's just um, easier to uh, do this at this point, add a tag. And scroll down to Facebook ads, webinar replay. Um, purchased. I can also add them to list, take them off list. I can take tags off. So add tag. I can say Facebook ads webinar purchased. Um, I can also more easily manipulate the tags and lists over an active campaign. So I really just add tags um, over here. Purchased if they leave before. So typically the pitch is around 45 minutes if there is one. So if they leave before 45 minutes, I can add the tag Facebook Ads webinar left early. I have to put a zero in right there. I could add multiple tags at different times. If they so they stayed until at least an hour and 20 minutes, I know they saw the pitch and they didn't buy. So I can add a tag. And then uh, I don't think I made that tag where it was, um, they, you know, Facebook ads missed. I didn't add the missed one in there. So um, I can put like stayed until the end as a tag. And um, I do that sometimes too. Let's see, join the live room after they missed the live webinar. I didn't add that one. So let's say Facebook ads webinar missed. Um, and then I could, you know, I had the late one. So if they join after, you know, zero, 30, you know, or even 15, they were late. I mean, whatever. They join after 30 minutes. Most people don't join that late. Um, I can say, I really don't ever use this one. So I might even say like, if they join after 15 minutes, I know they didn't see my intro and they may not know who I am because they didn't see like my intro. So um, I can always reroute them somewhere else uh, later on. Okay, confirm next. Okay, we're done there. So now I've got this automation and I just have to update it. And I actually want to swap these two around. I want to put the thank you for registering here. And I'm going to put this um, shortcut right to a call right here. If you got the PT email engine, you don't really have that. But the webinar welcome sequence over there. Let me show you what that. Oh, it's probably this one. So um, in the PT email engine, which is the uh, done for you um, Active preloaded active campaign uh, software that uh, we have. If you go to automations, let's see it all. Oh, here it is. I'm already there. Um, the webinar welcome sequence is is this one that I'm working with. So in the webinar welcome sequence, this is the one that you would do, and you would update your tag. You would subscribe them. It already subscribes them to your leads list or and or your blog list if you want to do that. And then thank you for registering for the webinar, which is what I have right here. This is just another shortcut email message. And then I put them through some other automations that I have. And then this is a nine word email. And you'll see I have this written out for you already, a nine word email um, in this. So this is the starting point. This is the more advanced point where I've built out other automations and a, a attractive character soap opera sequence, a strategy call sequence, um, a launch sequence for my free plus shipping book, a webinar for um, how to start a business, and then the nine word uh, spear email, and then a nine word email sequence. So you see the back end of mine. Um, that's if I made this public, but that's also um, if this is if you're watching this for training in my system. So now I'm going to update the thank you for registration email and i'm going to go to the webinar let me just go here your links let me just um oh, i can open the registration page and i'm just going to copy and paste this move that out of the way here it is okay five easy steps to running facebook ads in-house five easy steps to running facebook ads for your physical therapy business without hiring an expensive ad agency your unique web separate email. Please be sure to look here. Be sure to add my email to your contacts list. 
um, trainings, podcasts, be sure to say calendar reminder. Even outside of PT, you need to please send them this link and um, copy paste. Please send them. I'm actually going to take this out. Please send them the link below. So I'm going to remove that link. Please send them the link below and, sh and share it on social media. Thanks. So I'm going to make a new webinar link. So let's go get our registration link. Copy. I could actually just drop this right there like that, but I'm going to make a Facebook ads training link. So I go to WordPress, target, I'm going to do Facebook ads training. Create, and now I'm going to copy. I'm going to go here. And what I'm doing is I'm just trying my best to have like one link in this email. So I'm going to actually remove that link so that it's more likely to hit their inbox. I'm just going to un underline that. Heads up, underline. Okay, there it is. And then I can go and say, thanks for registering for the webinar instructions inside, Aaron. Next. Finish. Great. Now this one is a cool little email. It's a shortcut to a call because I do strategy calls. And I'll just make sure I update this one, see how it works. But hey, it's Aaron for the Facebook ads training. I've already sent your unique webinar registration, your webinar, not registration link, but your webinar link and confirmation. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the training soon. In the meantime, uh, you've you registered because you're interested in learning how to grow and scale your physical therapy business, generating more new leads and clients with um, Facebook marketing. If you want to learn how to grow and create alternative streams of revenue, um, you want to learn how to, to get more new patients and clients with your paid. You've already started a business and want to grow it even faster, have a proven offer and want to grow it even faster, I would like to invite you to join us for a free stream. Pull up the form at the bottom of this page. Let's make sure this goes to the right page. Session's free. We're happy to help. I'm going to take this link off here. There it is. So this is just a direct to, to a strategy call instead of the webinar. So let me just, uh, I just made a few little tweaks to this. Um, you're confirmed. You're confirmed. I want to say, Okay, let's just do, I just kept to the your confirmed and we're gonna finish this up. Save and exit. I just need to update that. This is a little experimental email, seeing how this works. Um, and I've got these other automations set. Three days, 14, we're good there. Um, let me just go update this guy. All right, I gotta rename this because this is not This is the e case the email to the Facebook um, ads. Webinar. Why is that off? Oh, because there's no links in there. Let's turn on reply tracking. Finish. Let's go update the names of these. I forgot to do that part. So this is minor, but thank you. Oh, message name. Uh, I'm going to put uh, Facebook ads. This is message name so we can find it if we want to send it to them later or pull it into an automation somewhere later. And shortcut the call. Message name, Facebook ads. And now the last thing I got to do is activate the automation. Boom. And I can double check that if we go over here and we register, uh -huh. watch this. I'm going to register. This is the best part. Aaron LeBauer, Aaron plus Facebook ads webinar at LeBauerConsulting.com. Oh, that was my email address. Oh, last name, phone number. Well, I'm gonna put in my phone number without showing it. Okay, then I register. I didn't wanna give up my phone number, but then I register and I get this. This is the link so I can set a reminder for the calendar. It's so cool. And then I can go to, um, I can close that. I can go to my automation and all I have to do is refresh and we should see if it worked right. There I am right there, boom. So it works. Now the webinar is ready to go. We can always go back and refine some of these little pieces. 
but uh, that's the main uh, part. I could go in and put our bios in there like I had when we created the, the beginning of the webinar, but that's it. All right, thank you so much. Enjoy this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, please comment what was most helpful for you. If you're looking for a, a free trial for Webinar Jam, you can find the link below. If you would like us to set up these emails for you um, and hand off a uh, pre-built done for you um, active campaign account, Go to PT Email Engine, and the link should be below that. Otherwise, um, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this with your friends, and let us know what was most helpful for you. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.